Hey guys, I just want to tell you that uh, I do have some of these Surf Zombie shirts available. I can ship them out if you're interested. Also, we got the new hats in. You might have noticed. Got some in pink, gray, bright green, purple, and one in dark green remaining. But uh, we can ship these out. Well, I've got a student that has done really well with this book. And uh, actually two students that are really committed to it. I've got a few people that have bought the book. They're kind of like haven't dug in yet. Having a system to follow is excellent. And what we do is we meet on uh, via Zoom and uh, the student will show me their, their week assignment, you know, for whatever week of the year they're on. And uh, they're accountable to me and, you know, they want to show me what they've got. So these people are making amazing progress. Both of them have played about two years. One guy is a little older than me, and he's up to week 30. He's going to be on uh, week 39 coming up. And uh, they're just fabulous exercises. I was looking ahead. I have to kind of prepare. But I, I love working on the exercises, and I, it's helped my skill level quite a bit. Let me show you this uh, number two... 271 in the book. I'm going to go kind of slow. It's what it is. It's like the it's sweet picking uh, 16th notes in triplets and um, It's the chords of D major. Maybe I'll just play the, the chords kind of cowboy style like a D major 7 E minor 7 F sharp minor 7 G major 7 a7, B minor 7, C sharp minor 7, flat 5, and back to D major 7. Only there's this, yeah, this is exercise 271, and it's pretty, uh, I really, I like to play kind of a slower tempo just to kind of absorb the sound and feel that stretch in my left hand. So I'm going to try this. There's the first shape. Oop, let me do it again. Then the E minor. The F sharp minor 7. The G major 7. The A7. seven and repeat It's so cool. You know, if you didn't have the system, you would be, you'd, you'd probably just be playing the same thing over and over or struggling. This forces you to have good fingering, think about timing, bends, arpeggios, um, alternate picking, rhythm, metal, country, jazz, rock, uh, sweet picking, triplets, uh, it's fabulous. Anyway, I feel like I'm just, you know, if we get through the book, I'd recommend just turning around doing it, doing it again. And I don't spend near enough time on the book. I'm a little, you know, I'm working on my albums and stuff, but I still feel this is helping me a lot. So that's uh, Guitar Aerobics by Troy Nelson former editor-in-chief of Guitar One magazine. <coughs> Excuse me. It's just great. So I would love to know if you do get the book, let me know. And uh, we could do Zoom lessons and uh, I could hold you accountable for each week of practice. And you'll make great progress. Highly recommended. 
I don't just recommend any old book, you know. This is actually something usable. I really hate uh, recommending something that's not good, you know. This is, I, I totally believe in this book. I'm not getting any money from selling it either. I just want you guys to get the most out of your practice. That's why I'm nagging you to think about the book. All right, thanks, and get a hat.